Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to learn about one more important concept related to the Hive header. So many times whenever you go for an interview, the people will ask you that I want to remove the header from the Hive files or CSV file, the files which you are going to load into the Hive tables. I don't want that header. There are two headers are there, three headers are there. That header should not be the part of your high table. So how to do that? Let me show you this example. So here you can see that there is one file is available where we have ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. The details are there. But I can see that this file also contain one, two headers are there. Now when I'm loading this file into my high tables, this header will be the part of my data. And that I don't want. I don't want this header to be the part of my data and I want to skip this header. So if you have two headers, we can skip that. If you have three headers, you can do that. How it is possible? Let's try to see this practically. Before I go to the practical session, if you're looking for Hadoop training, Spark training, you can reach out to me. And if you don't want to join the paid training, that's okay. Still, you can learn a lot of free contents on my YouTube channel. Let's see these things practically. So this data, I have already put it into my Hadoop cluster. Let me show you here, ls lrt vi header. If I open this, you can see that ID and ID, there are two records are there, which is my header. And these records are pipes separated. Okay, these records are pipe separated. Let's try to create a table and load the data into this table. So I have created, I'm going to create a table called, uh, let's say, remove str remove header i'm going to create a table called remove header and the data will go into this particular location rm str okay now here i'm mentioning the table properties equals to two skip header line count equals to two what does it mean it means whenever you are loading a data into this table it will skip that header it will skip and how many headers two header it will skip and rest of the part it will take it as a day data so this is the most important thing that you need to understand over here whenever you want to skip some header from the csv file and load it into the high tables so this property basically it is coming under the table properties of high so i just created that let me create a table i'm going here and i'm creating a table i created that now it is a time to load the data load data local in path my data is available to this this is my data actually and it is separated by pipe let me load this csv file into my table into table and the table name is this one header header is my database name and rmsdr is my table name now it is a time to select star from header dot rmhdr and i'm just limiting it to the 10 records because i just want to look to the header when i see that when i'm looking to the data here you can see that there is no header available into the table data even though we have a even though we have a data even though we have a header if you open this file you can see that there are two headers are there but these two header we have skipped by using the table properties and the table properties is skip header line count equals to two it will skip that header and if you if you are trying to load a data into the high table this two record will not be the part of your data and that is why there is no header now only data you can see over here if you want to see it more clearly you can just put it here into the notepad so this is how you can skip header whenever you want to load a data from CSV file to the high tables. I hope this is clear. Please contact me for the Hadoop Spark database training. Thank you so much.